Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagherwal. Welcome to Salesforce Marketing Cloud Series. In this video, I will be talking about single send journey in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So let's get started. Here I am on the journey dashboard and uh, here you can see all the journeys which are in running or draft status in your org. So I'll just uh, click on create new journey and here on the new journey panel you can see it gives you two choices whether it is going to be a multi-step journey or single send journey so single send journey is basically a single personalized message to send as an email uh, it could be your uh, any promotional email or any event reminder as well and if you want to have a connected experience then you need to use the multi-step journey where you can uh, connect to customer or on multiple channels like email text message push notifications also you can have your uh, splits as well decision splits engagement split and you can perform the sales service cloud activities as well so all those things you can do in your multi-step journey but for our example we are going to use single send journey so i'll just click on this email so this is your uh, single send journey dash uh, pen where you need to configure the activities. So we have basically three activities over here. One is data extension where you, are, you need to configure your audience. Next is uh, uh, to configure the email message which you are going to send and third is schedule the journey. Okay, so let's configure the data extension. Click select data extension under the data extensions folder. I'll just select Cloud Kicks customers, click summary. Now I just want to do some filtrations as well on contacts. So I'll just click on edit filter contacts. And on the left side, you can see all the available attributes for you to use to prepare your filter criteria. You need to drag the attributes on the right side. So I'll just go to contact data. And all these things you can see, these are nothing but the system data, uh, some uh, mobile push data. So all these data is available for you to use as part of your filter criteria preparation, okay? So we are gonna use this start customers. So it could be a data extensions. Uh, then I'll just click on cloud kicks customer. Again, it, it could be a data extension. So how these data extensions are pointing towards some other data extension so that mapping is done in your attribute group in your data designer under contact builder okay so i'll just go to purchases data extension and here i'm gonna use this purchase date and what i want is uh, i want to select the purchase date equal to day minus one day okay so that means a day before whoever contact has purchased those contacts are going to be entered in my journey okay so that's what it means i'll just click on done i will click on summary so our data extension is ready to use now let's configure the email okay i'll just click on email activity and i'll click on new message and here comes the email configuration pane where you need you can uh, select your layout you can add content and you can preview and test as well so for our example i'm gonna use 131 column image layout i'll just click on select and name i'm going to provide as welcome to cloud kicks so i'll just type the name welcome to cloud kicks then uh, click next so here comes the add content tab here we have all the blocks available for use and the content and layouts design also we can configure so i'm just going to give the subject line as welcome to cloud kicks click done and i'm going to give the pre header as we are glad to have you okay 
click done now uh, let's uh, provide a header image to this email message so i'll just click on this image block and i'll click on replace so it uh, takes us to the content builder where we have our content placed so i'll just uh, use hero img image i'll click on select so that is done that much of configuration we are going to do in the email i'll just click on next and i'll just save and exit so that is our email has been configured now let's schedule this journey okay on click of schedule it provides us two options to schedule one is run immediately on activation and another one is schedule on a specific date and time after journey activity activation so i am going to select on activation itself click done so once all the activities are configured you need to validate your journey so here you can see the validate button so just click on it so this is uh, the system is going to uh, validate your journey whether there is some uh, errors present so if any error comes you need to fix that first then only you can activate the journey so i'll just go to return graph so that's uh, how you can configure your single send journey in salesforce marketing cloud so let me just recap these steps first uh, we select whether it is going to be a single send journey or multi step journey so we selected a single send journey then we configured the data extension from where uh, where the contact records is coming and we have provided some filter criteria over there as well then we have configured email message as well inside journey builder itself and then we have scheduled the journey okay so that's how you can configure your single send journey in salesforce marketing cloud so that was all about this video if you find this content helpful please like the video and comment on it for more please subscribe my channel as abhishek bagherwal thank you